What's up YouTube? Today we're going to show you some emergency techniques or whatever you call it in case you got a brake chamber that goes bad or a diaphragm that's blowed. We're going to show you what to do so you can cage it off and get to a safe place to get it fixed. You guys take a look. This is old man in the country that I know. No money in what he used to grow. No, he don't care what people think. When a farmer turns into a hippie, times are hard in Mississippi. Alright guys, what we're going to do, of course, right here is our brake chamber. What we've done, we've took the wheels off of it just so we can film it better. Of course, the wheels will be on it when you're having this issue. But we're going to show you what to do. First thing we're going to do is show you what tools you're going to need. And then we're going to get after it. All right, guys. Wild Bill is going to show you what tools you're going to need. That way you can crawl under the trailer and have everything with you. And then we're going to walk you through how to do it. And that way, if you're in a pinch, we can get you to a safe spot so you can get it repaired. All right. I've got a work light, which... Being out there on the road, a lot of times you won't have one. You have a flashlight, the battery's about dead in most of the time. Uh, anyway, got to have a three-quarter wrench. Of course, I've got a regular wrench, a ratchet wrench, and a socket. A pair of needle nose vice grips. And this is a caging bolt that I pulled out of the chamber we we're fixing to work on and show you. Mounted, uh, if it's done right, there should be a caging bolt sticking in here in the side of the brake chamber, so you can always have it with you in case you need it. Do notice on your ports, this is the service side and this is the spring brake. Spring brake will always be facing towards the can end. Keep that in mind. I'll show you here in a little bit. All right, guys, let's go get on the trailer and we're gonna walk you through the steps on what you need to do to get out of a pickle. All right, guy, here's the uh, the chamber. And like I say, we've got the wheels and tires off just for demonstration purposes. That way it's easier to film. So let's get to it. All right, what you want to do, show them the end of that first one. They'll see what they're working with. All it is is just a short T. You got to reach in there and find the hole. Once it goes into the hole, you got to turn it a little bit because it's notched. Once you find the hole, turn it about a quarter of a turn to the right and pull back on it a little bit. Once you've got it to right there, you run the nut down. Once you get it snug, you can take a wrench. I'm gonna start out with my ratchet wrench. Tighten it down until you feel it bottom out. One thing we didn't talk about is the brakes applied or the brakes released at this point. This is with brakes applied. If you're crawling under a truck by yourself, normally your brakes will be applied if you're smart. Uh, that way the truck won't try to roll over you when you cage this off. If you do have problems with that wheel, uh, when you cage this off, it's gonna free the brakes up on that wheel and guess what? truck lab will start rolling on you. All right. So if they decide to do it without applying the brakes, make sure your wheels are chopped. Now this is a socket I picked up off of a tool truck uh, just for this. It's a three quarter. I'm just doing this to save a little bit of time. When you fill it bottom out, don't turn it, try, don't try to force it and keep turning it anymore you'll bust inside of that where it connects to this releases the spring pressure on that heavy spring that's in there and guys the only reason you use using that socket you don't have to you can finish it with a wrench it's just to, to make it go faster so the video is not going to drag out for half of the video. So you didn't keep cranking on it. He felt it bottom out and stopped. All right. As I was talking about a little while ago on your airlines, uh, if you have to cage it off normally, your chamber is going to be leaking. There's little holes in the side right here. Usually those are, it's got the little rubber 
a diaphragm in there and if it goes to leaking normally it'll start leaking from right here uh, what I've got is a pair of ice grips on the service I mean on the uh, spring brake side on the chamber where the line goes in you want to take and clamp that line off that way you don't have any air pressure coming through it this is just to get you off the side of the road it's not a permanent fix this is only a temporary fix. DOT man sees it, he's liable to frown, but it will get you off the side of the road safely uh, to where you can get to a shop and, and get the chamber replaced or get the diaphragm replaced. All right, guys, so there you know how to do it. And of course, if you're not replacing the chamber yourself, the shop will go ahead and take the buy scripts back off and give them to you and unchain, uncage your brake chamber. But make sure to put that bolt back in there and the hole where it goes. If you don't, the next time you have issues, you're gonna be screwed. So there you go, guys. That's how to get off the road in a pinch if you have a blown brake chamber. Like always, if you like this video, be sure to hit that thumbs up and subscribe down here below, and we will catch you guys next time. Y'all have a great one.